what? It was funny how I ended up with the role, though. I feel like it was more of a, like, I was like, I really hope this, like, turns into a show, like a proper show. Um, because I was never meant to play. I was never meant to be in it. That was never the plan. Um, it was always that I was... I just submitted this one song for Ali. Because, um, like I said, I was speaking to the production company about writing on on just general musicals. <sighs> And I was 19 at the time, so I was just really pushy. And I was like, I just want to write on stuff. And um, they obviously mentioned it. And then they were missing the I Want song, which is like the first song you hear Ali sing in the show, which is now my song, Got It All From You. Um, and I went away and I wrote that song um, and then like came back two days later and was like, right, I have this song, this pitch for you. Um, but obviously because I'd done it like in my bedroom at home, um, in my like own little home studio I I um it was like me playing it and singing it and everything because I was like I haven't got time to go and like get in a studio about this so um and then I think I just said that and then they were like oh she can like sing or whatever and then it was like oh can she act and then um the writer of the show Stephen Antin um was like oh let me do a zoom with her and just like read some some scenes with her and then we did like one zoom call and then they were like oh do you want to come do the workshop as Ali and I was like okay and it all, it all kind of escalated really quickly so it, I don't think I ever really had the opportunity to go oh, I really hope I get to play this role it yeah. was always yeah. like wait okay all right we're just kind of it was like getting on a moving train um and just kind of rolling with it <laughs> It's, it's crazy. I love the fact that you just go, yeah, she can sing a bit. You have got the most incredible voice. I mean, it's so powerful. It just, <laughs> it totally blows the audience away. Honestly, it gave me goosebumps. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, I've been singing forever and I like have a like relationship I've literally seen my voice as like having it's like a romantic romantic relationship so I have a relationship with it and it's like you argue and you have to like work on it and you have to work on trusting it and half I always feel like with singing as well like half of it is a mental battle like so much is um is getting over your brain when singing and that took me years and years still taking me years and years to like completely do um but I don't know, I just think I've never really been complacent with my voice. Like, it's always been like, okay, come on. Like, what's the next? Like, you can always, so it sounds so annoying, but you can always get better in it. So it's like, you just, I don't know. It's always been something that I've always wanted to like keep working on um, mm -hmm. and keep like working on the relationship. And now I have like a good trust with my voice that um, even if like it doesn't feel 100% or something, I kind of have a relationship where I trust, even if it goes wrong, like I, you know, can hopefully crawl myself out of situations and stuff but I don't know well it's an ongoing you, relationship <laughs> you certainly make that role your own I like the fact it wasn't a carbon copy of Christina you know you got the essence of Ali without having to do that but Christina is really involved isn't she in this production is she like an exec producer have you met yeah, her yet yeah do you know what? I haven't yet I haven't yet but she's she's an executive producer but she's I've she's heard the songs and she texts and like she I, she lets us know like about what she thinks of like the songs I think she saw me do some stuff as Ali and like comes back and says oh we you know she's doing work great or whatever which is really nice and you know she doesn't have to do that so it's really really nice um that you know she she's she's been part of the process and yeah I mean I remember I referenced her for the first song I wrote forgot it all from you the chord progression is referenced from from Christina's pop music because I my always my thing as a writer especially on musicals is that I the pop world and the the, the pop the music industry and and the musical theater industry is becoming so close now and as a music girly you know first and foremost it's like I um it's I'm always trying to like blend the two. Um, I feel like people are doing that a lot with modern musicals. So for me, I referenced Christina's pop music in the so in um, the first song and then sort of brought it into a theatrical world um, as opposed to the other way around because I wanted it to feel like Christina could sing it. You you started out on the the Voice. We first saw you win the Voice Kids when you were four. I was a baby. <laughs> I know. And then you know, a couple of years later, the groups X mm -hmm. Factor. You know, so you, yeah, this this seems like the perfect fit. But are you thinking now? Then 
continuing in musicals or have you still got that love of going back to possibly the pop world? I am the most annoying person in the world where I'm going. I'm not really giving up any of it. So I'm like, I very much want to continue working on music. You know, music is like my my first love. Like I, I'm a writer, so I want to create an art like I want to create an artist I want to be my own artist and 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 have stuff that's completely you know feels completely personal to me but I love writing on shows I don't know what it is but I just I was a I was a theater kid and I just I flipping love it so um I definitely think there's a world in which the two go hand in hand hopefully is the, is the kind of the plan but we'll see I think, yeah, just keep everything open, especially when you can do them all. Why not? Now, you are having so much fun because you've got a great cast. It looks like you're having fun on stage. I've had a look at Instagram. You're all having an absolute ball. Um, you've been to Scotland, though, with this. So since, you know, coming to Manchester, it's been to Scotland. You're now back in Manchester. Have there been any changes, any developments, or are we going to see the same thing? What's... Um, there's a couple of changes for sure. There's a, there's a couple of little couple of little tweaks. I mean, the gist of the show is the same. The numbers, I think, are the same. Um, but there's some scenes. There's some new scenes. There's there's some new developments with characters and stuff, which is which is fun. I mean, it's it's a new show, so it's constantly changing and constantly being workshopped and 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 experimented with. And that's like the that's the point of previews in a way is is to is to be able to have the freedom to change stuff and work on stuff and and I mean like sometimes we'll go out and it's like you're doing a completely different alley today because you're just trying stuff out so it's like there's de there's definitely there's definitely a couple of little changes but Ooh. I love that it just means we need to keep watching it again and again and again yeah if you come and see it, you'll probably see a slightly different show, so. Brilliant. I like the fact as well, I'm not going to away spoilers, but it is slightly different from the film in its storyline, which I thought yeah. was great. Because again, you're getting yeah. something a little bit new and a little bit fresh. I think that's the thing. And I think that's like the same principle I've had with the like, not creating a carbon copy of Christina is that like, I I grew up listening to Christina and it's it's... I'm so inspired by her, but nobody's going to be, Chris no, one, no one can do Christina like Christina. So there's sort of no point in trying to, I guess. It's like, for me, it was always about creating something in which it felt like I was paying respect to the film and paying respect to Christina and, and everything she created um, and everything they created on the film. But then going, okay, I'm going to take that and then create a new version of it because I'm never going to do that like her but I can do me like me so then people will choose to whether to like that or not like that and you know that's cool but um that was always kind of the aim and I feel like that's kind of what we've done with the show as well is like you want to pay respect to the film because that's where it all create was started and it's where all of the amazing ideas came from um but then kind of try and develop it and, and create something a little bit new as well absolutely but you know what you have kept with the film and the stage version is a lot of pvc can we discuss the costumes? How difficult are those changes, Jess? <laughs> Act two is relentless. Act two, I always get to the interval and I go, because I don't really have an interval either because the interval is completely like hair change, wig prep, hair change, new makeup, like new costume, everything. So I always get there and I'm like, oh, I just, it's it's relentless. The quick quick changes are so fast because I don't, if if anyone's seen the seen the the show, it's act two. I pretty much don't leave. It's very much like back to back, number to number to number. So um, and each one has like a different costume with like five layers of, and one of them's blooming latex, and there's, we like talcum powder it up to try and like get it on while I'm sweaty. It's it's honestly the most. It's not glamorous. It's very disgusting but it's uh, what you got to do. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. You know, I was going away thinking, I just don't know how you do that. And then come on and then just do a, this incredible song. And I'm thinking, <laughs> that takes them. It totally does. <laughs> there's a funny bit actually in Act 2 where there's, there's a number called Good Girl, which is in the film. Mm -hmm. And it's got this beautiful costume. But what people don't see is the curtains down. And um, there's like a chaise long on stage and um I never say that right but you know what I mean um <laughs> and I have to run off and get into this quick change and then what no one sees 
is me sprint and the cast have a whole joke about it because I sprint like the most ugly like non not non um, elegant sprint on stage and I jump over the the sofa and land and then the curtain comes up and I go da 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 I'm like where have you been on my life it's honest it's so funny if you actually see the backstage chaos that happens before that number starts is everybody's just looking at me going like because there's like this rugby it. like tackle with the sofa before I start it's the magic of theatre no one will ever know <laughs> apart from anyone who is listening to this right now and we'll go yeah and then, yeah. And then I've just told everyone so <laughs> now I want this to go to the west end it needs to go to the west end obviously it's great that we had it here first because Manchester audiences are the best but are there plans for this west end run on taking it further Jess I can't really say too much about anything, um, but I think we're all really hoping that it has a future. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens within within the next the next year or so. But um, I think we definitely all like really want it to, and that's definitely the idea. Um, but like I said, I can't I can't really, I can't really say too much. But um, I don't really know too much. But um, that's definitely we're all really hoping so.